Science. Humans' exploration of outer space has created thousands of fragments of rubbish known as space debris. Around two-thirds of catalogued objects originate from orbital breakups, more than 240 explosions, and fewer than 10 known collisions, such as in 2009 between America's Iridium-33 civil communications satellite and Russia's Cosmos 2251 military satellite, which destroyed both and created a large amount of debris, more than 2,200 tracked fragments. A one-centimeter object with a typical collision velocity of more than 50,000 kilometers an hour would come up with a kinetic energy on impact equivalent to an exploding hand grenade or a mid-range car running into the satellite at 60 kilometers an hour. You can imagine the effect. What was once a giant leap for mankind has brought with it consequences for the Earth's orbit, a problem being targeted by experts at the 6th European Conference on Space Debris, held at ESA's European Space Operations Centre in Darmstadt in Germany. The only way to solve the problem is to actively go there and remove mass from orbit at a rate between 5 and 10 very big objects per year. This is a way to make sure that we can control the environment. Legal and political considerations underlie the issue of orbital space debris and in some cases those issues are equally if not more pressing than the technical challenges surrounding its removal.